the Java Beans component architecture. The server and client tiers might also include components based on the Java Beans component architecture. Java Beans components to manage the data flow between an application client or applet and components running on the Java EA server, or between server components in a database. Java Beans components are not considered Java EA components by the Java EA specification. Java Beans components have properties and have get and set methods for accessing the properties. Java Beans components used in this way are typically simple in design and implementation but should conform to the naming and design conventions outlined in the Java Beans component architecture. Java EA Server Communications Figure 12 shows the various elements that can make up the client tier. Figure 12, Server Communication the client communicates with the business tier running on the Java EA server either directly or, as in the case of a client running in a browser, by going through JSP pages or servlets running in the web tier. Your Java EA application uses a thin browser-based client or thick application client. In deciding which one to use, you should be aware of the trade-offs between keeping functionality on the client and close to the user thick client and offloading as much functionality as possible to the server thin client. The more functionality you offload to the server, the easier it is to distribute, deploy, and manage the application. However, keeping more functionality on the client can make for a better perceived user experience. Web Components Java EA web components are either servlets or pages created using JSP technology JSP pages and or Java server faces technology. Servlets are Java programming language classes that dynamically process requests and construct responses. JSP pages are text-based documents that execute as servlets but allow a more natural approach to creating static content. Java Server Faces technology builds on servlets and JSP technology and provides a user interface component framework for web applications. Static HTML pages and applets are bundled with web components during application assembly but are not considered web components by the Java EA specification. Server-side utility classes can also be bundled with web components and, like HTML pages, are not considered web components. As shown in Figure 13, the web tier, like the client tier, might include a Java Beans component to manage the user input and send that input to Enterprise Beans running in the business tier for processing. Figure 13, Web Tier and Java EA Applications Business Components Business code, which is logic that solves or meets the needs of a particular business domain such as banking, retail, or finance, is handled by Enterprise Beans running in the business tier. Figure 14 shows how an Enterprise Bean receives data from client programs, processes it if necessary, and sends it to the Enterprise Information System tier for storage. Figure 14, Business and EIS Tiers. An enterprise bean also retrieves data from storage, processes it if necessary, and sends it back to the client program. Enterprise Information System Tier The Enterprise Information System Tier handles EIS software and includes enterprise infrastructure systems such as Enterprise Resource Planning ERP, Mainframe Transaction Processing, Database Systems, and other legacy information systems. For example, Java EA application components might need access to enterprise information systems for database connectivity. Java EA containers. Normally, thin client multi-tiered applications are hard to write because they involve many lines of intricate code to handle transaction and state management, multi threading, resource pooling, and other complex low-level details. The component-based and platform-independent Java EA architecture makes Java EA applications easy to write because business logic is organized into reusable components. In addition, the Java EA server provides underlying services in the form of a container for every component type. Because you do not have to develop these services yourself, you are free to concentrate on solving the business problem at hand. Container Services Containers are the interface between a component and the low-level platform-specific functionality that supports the component. Before a web, enterprise bean, or application client component can be executed, it must be assembled into a Java EE module and deployed into its container. 
The assembly process involves specifying container settings for each component in the Java EA application and for the Java EA application itself. Container settings customize the underlying support provided by the Java EA server, including services such as security, transaction management, Java naming and directory interface, JNDI lookups, and remote connectivity. Here are some of the highlights. The Java EA security model lets you configure a web component or enterprise beam so that system resources are accessed only by authorized users. The Java EA transaction model lets you specify relationships among methods that make up a single transaction so that all methods in one transaction are treated as a single unit. JNDI lookup services provide a unified interface to multiple naming and directory services in the enterprise so that application components can access these services. The Java EA remote connectivity model manages low-level communications between clients and enterprise beans. After an enterprise bean is created, a client invokes methods on it as if it were in the same virtual machine. Because the Java EA architecture provides configurable services, application components within the same Java EA application can behave differently based on where they are deployed. For example, an enterprise bean can have security settings that allow it a certain level of access to database data in one production environment and another level of database access in another production environment. The container also manages non-configurable services such as enterprise bean and servlet life cycles, database connection resource pooling, data persistence, and access to the Java EA platform APIs. See Java EA 5 APIs, page 18.